Hello everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about OpenGrad software. OpenGrad software is actually the abbreviation of uh, gridded analysis and display system so uh, from its name you can see we can analyze and display the climatic and uh, earth sciences that sets in by using this software i will provide the link in the description you can just uh, go to description and co uh, copy the link and you can download this software and it is freely available you can also easily install it and if you have any queries relating to this software you can just uh, comment in the comment section and I will try to respond you as soon as possible so if we need to start so before starting it is asking uh, as you want landscape mode or uh, portrait mode so for landscape mode I am just uh, pressing uh, enter so after pressing on enter our landscape mode will be okay so here in the back we back a new tab will open in this tab your uh, data uh, and the, all the plotting will be displayed in this uh, particular section so i'm just going to minimize it and just working uh, here in the main tab so first of all our main problem is how to upload uh, uh, data how to add our data into open grad software so we are just going to use stf open command and uh, press on enter uh, spacebar you add a space and uh, go to uh, your netcdf file so i have just uh, uh, saved my netcdf files in the folder of uh, open grads same folder so i'm just going to use this file for uh, today purpose so it is starting from 1970 and it is uh, going to about 2016 just you can uh, just uh, drag and drop this file into your uh, particular uh, grad software okay so as df open and your file and press enter so now we want to see its uh, particulars so to see particular we are just going to write q and uh, ctl info in ctl info you will find the all the information within that file so it is uh, you can see its uh, format net cdf and uh, 12 months is representing here one year data so put seven values so it put seven values to mean to say that uh, you know, 47 data of 47 years also uh, is given into that particular file so cd uh, csdi5 is actually its variable its variable will be depending upon your net file whichever you are using so if you are using precipitation data then, then your variable will be precip or a similar pr or something like that so you can check your variable because it is very important okay now we are just going to set some um, uh, latitude and longitude to visualize for a particular area so i'm just setting latitude as uh, 2040 and as uh, for pakistan it is particular uh, area 2040 that's latitude and for pakistan the longitude uh, is uh, between uh, 60 to 80 so for pakistan if you are working with pakistan then you have to use this latitude and longitude values actually 20 is the starting value 40 is the ending 60 is the starting for longitude and 80 is the ending value so it's actually the range of latitude and longitude i will show you in later on when the graph will be plotted so press on enter similarly you need to set your time so set time is equal to one let's see if we are using one so it will show you as uh, 1970 and year of 1970 the other variables such as seven and two and zero is uh, doesn't matter we will not consider it as uh, this data is only annual data so i mean uh, we will just uh, focus on uh, the annual year of 1970 so if we set uh, let's suppose uh, three or four set uh, t4 then the year will be uh, here you can see 1973 so 71 for 270 similarly 73 for uh, 4 and uh, the last year maybe it's uh, 47 so set t is equal 47 so you can see 2016 is the last year so we are working with the last year we can check for every year separately or we can uh, make a, a, an every plot of all these years uh, together so let's begin now the main work is uh, starting from here so we need to define our variable so i'm just writing a vr 
i a b n define variable is equal to actually this is the maybe uh, particular thing you must need to focus on here uh, we need to use average command and uh, after using average command we have to write our uh, variable you can see our variable is csdi5 so i will write csdi5 here similarly we are enter a comma and uh, starting time so t is equal to starting time if we are using uh, one year then uh, we need to write as 47 and uh, again t is equal to 47 so it will show you the values of uh, single year and the last year but if uh, we are using, uh, going to use all these uh, uh, come uh, we are doing, going to use all the years from 1 to 47 then we will write as t is equal to 1 and t is equal to 47 for this particular video we are going to discuss for uh, for entire net city of files and if you are working with single year you want to check single year then you can write as t is equal to 47 here and similarly t is equal to 47 here depending upon your uh, sequence okay now define variable variable is set it okay okay now you can see it's a uh, allocation memory is uh, 53 792 bytes so now we need to set uh, the grads off first to um, work further so set grads uh, off and uh, press on enter so now we have to set the map resolution so for setting the resolution of map so we are using, using MD mpd set and uh, we are going to use high resolution so h i r e s for uh, higher resolution so mpd set and uh, higher resolution so press on enter okay and uh, then we need to display the background color of uh, as white so set uh, display color because every map in the research work having a white background so set display color is equal to uh, is white okay so that's why i'm using white color you can also use uh, any other color depending upon your choice okay now press on enter display color is set it and uh, we need to set some smooth options for smoothing graphs so we will use as smooth uh, wth as smooth uh, on if we turn it off we can also turn it on so i'm just turning it on because to look um, our graph better we need to apply some smoothing command onto it so i'm just doing c smooth command on and uh, so we can also set gx out so in gx out uh, and uh, it's shaded so if we are not going to use shaded then our entire uh, map will be just contour lines if we plot shaded then the area all the area will be shaded so if you not use this shaded command then your map is just representing only uh, contour lines so it will not look uh, them better so that's why i'm just going to use uh, gx uh, uh, shaded gx out as shaded so some we have to add some classifications so set some classification levels depending upon your uh, data if you are going to use precipitation data then these values um, uh, daily precipitation data these value may be between uh, starting from 0 to 300 400 and uh, even till 1000 millimeter but if you are going to use average annual rainfall then th th this value will be depending upon zero to uh, will be lying between zero to five mm so these levels is depending upon your own data sets and your own variable so my for this particular i'm just going to use levels of uh, 0 6 12 18 20 uh, 24 30 36 42 48 depending upon how many uh, your upper limits and lower limits and how many classification you want to give to your uh, map so i am just going to use these 6 12 18 24 30 36 and 40, 48 and uh, enter so there uh, i am just going to use nine classifications okay so now i'm going to set some x uh, length so x length is actually the uh, the um, uh, gap between your uh, uh, labels and uh, tick marks on the x-axis and y-axis so this gap must be um, taken 
if we do not take then the gap and the map will not look th that much good so i'm just going to set excellent as 5 similarly violent set violent violent is also 5 you can also change it to 6 or something like that so i'm just going to use 5 so it is actually the distance between your uh, labels and uh, uh, tick marks okay accent and violence are everything okay now i'm just going to use uh, uh, some uh, color color modification so for color modification i'm going to use set uh, while ops in while ops you can uh, uh, use different colors so let's one for black and uh, five is actually your thickness thickness of uh, the uh, lines and uh, 0.818 is actually the font size so press no enter so you can see here color is one thickness five and size is 0.18 okay so now we can display our data so display variable we can write as v a r a b l if the spelling there is no spelling mistake then everything will be looking uh, very fine so in define variable i'm typed as v a r a a b l so here the okay so everything is fine just to enter just to see in the here you can see the graph is very uh, looking uh, very nice so but uh, now we have to add some other things such as uh, c bar for uh, legends color bar or legend bar that's my enter looks uh, uh, maybe you can see the color bar is already visible okay now you can just uh, go to add some title so for title title we are going to use draw title so draw title you can just uh, use the name uh, any any title you can give i'm just going to use our own for that uh, for uh, uh, tutorial okay title is our own tutorial and uh, similarly if we are going to just print this out print out or save this file in png or something like that format then we will use gxprint command gxprint and in gxprint we will use as uh, a name of the file i am just going to use harun one two three four dot png okay so here is my file name and uh, again it's the resolution so i'm just going to use x3000 and uh, y2000 it's depending on your choice so it's just resolutions so just press on uh, enter so it will say that uh, it is already your png file is already created just uh, minimize it and you can go to uh, contents in contents uh, and uh, then sources and uh, in the source you can go to sample data sets and in sample data sets you can find as uh, Harun one to through this one so let's see how it looks yes you can see it is looking uh, so nice so similarly you can uh, do uh, this at um, uh, for your own data sets and if it uh, if you like this then please subscribe and furthermore i have to just uh, again repeat that if you are willing to see one particular year then uh, you need to write uh, just uh, same in both the these uh, t uh, options such as t is equal to 46 and t is equal to 46 for uh, 46th year in your data set so if i'm just going to um, i'm just i did it for uh, entire worksheet entire uh, uh entire years entire period but you can also use this type of uh, uh, commands for your particular uh, one year thanks a lot for watching my video take good care of yourself bye